Hey, Mr. Parka here to review a new one. This is uh, Diablo, which is available right now to rent on Amazon Video and I believe other places as well. More information will be below. And it's released on DVD and Blu-ray February 23rd. And uh, this one interested me because it was a, a Western film. I'm a, I like Western films. Uh, you don't get enough of them. And now we've had a few come out in a relatively quick succession. We've had Hateful Eight and uh, Bone Tomahawk. And uh, I love both of those. So I was kind of interested in to see Diablo for sure. Uh, not to mention that it stars uh, Clint Eastwood's son, Scott Eastwood. This was my first uh, you know, film I seen with him in it. Uh, which kind of interested me to see how it would be. He looks an awful lot like Clint Eastwood, obviously, because it's you know it's his son. So that that's kind of jarring and, and bizarre. Also, this movie has Walton Goggins in it, uh, Danny Glover, uh, Adam Beach, and uh, uh, Camille Bell. And uh, I recognized her as well, but I wasn't as familiar with her work as the other guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I put this one in, and it started off as what seemed to be a kind of simple tale of revenge, uh, tracking down these guys who stole his wife. But uh, as it progresses, uh, the first encounter with Walton Goggins, you kind of know something's up. You kind of, you catch, I'm not necessarily sure it's supposed to be a twist. It's just a plot point that's even, uh, for the people that aren't caught up in following what's going on, uh, at the 40 minute mark, you you, you are uh, let in, if let in on what's going on if you haven't already figured it out yourself. Uh, I, I've fairly uh, figured it out fairly quickly myself. Uh, the acting in here is uh is uh, from Walton is always good. Danny Glover's good. Adam Beach is good. Everybody's fairly good. Uh, Scott Eastwood is kind of a bizarre for me to watch. Like I stated before, uh, it, it's one of those things that it'll, he'll be impossible to separate from his father because his father's such a classic actor and uh, prolific in westerns and uh, just an amazing uh, western actor. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think he did a pretty good job here. Uh, they gave him a nice juicy role, which had a lot of range to play different kind of uh, emotions and things going on. I don't want to spoil exactly what's going on, but like I said, you should be able to catch on fairly quick. Uh, it's got uh, even a shout-out in this film, which is kind of bizarre to American Werewolf in London. Almost a little out of place in here. Uh, kind of made it more into a horror uh, realm type deal. Uh, the cinematography is great, and that's probably because Dean Cundey shot it, who did a lot of uh, you know, Jurassic Park and a lot of uh, John Carpenter's movies, and he's, his stuff's always top-notch, and that's one of the first things I noticed about the film. It was beautifully shot. There's lots of great scenic stuff in here. Uh, you know, out, I believe it was Colorado is what the, the movie's supposed to take place, so you get lots of beautiful wilderness and, you know, above shots, tracking shots, just stuff like that. It's lots of good stuff in here, uh, as far as a beautiful looking film. Uh, it's never a boring movie either. Uh, like I said, uh, American War of London kind of a homage or whatever come, comes into a point where there's a hallucination uh, when he is uh, taken in by some Native Americans. Uh, all in all, I think the film is uh, pretty decent. I think it's kind of a cool... Uh, I guess, uh, for me, it was a cool film to see Scott Eastwood act in. Uh, kind of went against everything his dad kind of did in a lot of ways. Uh, at certain points, uh, he seems to have... Uh, his voice is very much the same at, at times, but has more of a sensitive, uh, lighter, kind of less... A grouchy kind of thing to it. I I'm sorry I'm comparing Scott Eastwood so much to his father, but it's just, it it's an inevitable thing I kind of have to do, or I feel like doing. I, I just can't separate it. But regardless, I, I think that it's a fairly decent Western movie that's beautifully shot uh, with a, a, a decent kind of uh, plot going on. Something a little bit different, but not necessarily uh, mind-blowing or anything like that. Uh, my one complaint, just a little bit here and there, would be kind of the high tension. Same thing if anybody's seen high tension and, you know, there's kind of a, there's a, a thing in high tension where you're kind of like, I don't know if that's going to pass necessarily. They don't do it nearly as bad in this as they do high tension. Uh, there's lots of action at the end. Uh, comes to a, a kind of a boiling point and uh, lots of shooting. And uh, he looks good shooting two guns. It uh, looks pretty good. Lots of gunplay and stuff like that. Uh, his uh, kind of has his own whistle catchphrase, which kind of makes it a little haunting part. Uh, but uh, regardless, I wish Walton was in it more because I think he's a great actor. Uh, but uh, for the, everybody does well. Uh, it's a short and sweet, uh, I guess sweet is this a term, it's not necessarily sweet, it's a little bit mean-spirited to be honest. But it's a short uh, western that gets, uh, you know, gets everything done and looks good doing it. Uh, solid movie. Uh, not going to compete with something like Bone Tomahawk, which is, I think, a masterpiece, or Hateful Eight, which I also really loved. But uh, it's worth watching, and it's interesting, and uh, that's not. there's not enough movies that are interesting and worth watching anymore. <laughs> to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'd say check out Diablo All Out. There'd be more information where to see it below. And here's probably the trailer.
my wife. Get out of my house. Came in the night and they took her. You know where they're headed? Down the South Trail. Towards Mexico. You be careful. of their kind. Hello, sir. I collect the toll from safe passage. What kind of toll? Everything you got. Maybe even your soul. They call you Diablo. He's killed more men than you met in your lifetime. If anything happens to me, you run from here. fights with me. My fight is with everybody. Now say your prayers. Say it! We live or we die. We are to the Lord. Bring it to me! That might just be a favor to you.